On this month's Alumni in Your Community, we profile a woman who has accomplished a lot, and all with only her BCC Associate's degree. Hi, I'm Diane Nichols, BCC graduate, class of 1980. I first heard about BCC just um, with my guidance counselors at New Bedford High School. Um, since I wasn't really sure where uh, my career path was leading me, um, they advised me that this was a good place to start. That you know, if you're not sure um, which uh, path you want to take, then this is a good place to start to really get the basics going on, and then you'll just kind of figure out, figure things out as you go along. And and um, pretty much that's how I found. My life went. I just kind of learned by doing, um, talking to people, following examples, and took it from there. So BCC was kind of the, you know, the, the, the starting block for, for my career. I started off um, in just business administration, and then I kind of took, took off to the um, administrative assistant side of things, and that's what I graduated in. So if you look back, you can see that I was about three years in what's a two-year college, but I kind of was back and forth what I was doing as far as my majors go, so I ended up with the administrative assistant degree. I didn't move on degree-wise, but I did take a lot of classes at UMass Dartmouth, and then I always, you know, continued um, education in other, you know, ways, like, um, you know, public speak training, you know, the Dale, Dale Garnegie classes, um, the um, public speaking classes like Toastmasters. I got involved with, like, the um, the South Coast Learning Center and did some more um, computer classes, accounting classes, things like that. So I always continued taking classes because I knew how valuable that was. Um, but I didn't formally go on to college from BCC because I just really got involved um, in my career path in, you know, family, you know, marriage, children, all that, that I never really went back, you know, to complete the formal education. But I really uh, felt like the background that I got was a great step and then just continuing. I mean, I'm always willing to learn. And I'm always taking new classes here and there. Um, but BCC was really kind of the, you know, the building block for everything else that happened. When I, I graduated with that degree, which is basically administrative assistant, secretarial science program, they called it back then. I don't think they even call it that anymore. But um, I really went to work as a secretary, and I, um, I was working for the city of New Bedford in um, the emergency medical services office, which was just funny how I ended up in there. I had, had summer jobs with the city, and I had gotten, you know, I was out of school. They were looking for someone. I filled that bill. Didn't really work there that long when I got plucked out of that office when the mayor's, the mayor's office, the mayor of New Bedford, who back then was Jack Markey, needed um, a secretarial assistant in his office, and they were looking throughout the different departments throughout the city to see who really uh, could fill the bill, and they asked me to come up. So I you know, was pretty flattered by that, that they saw my work, and they knew of me, and they asked me in. So I worked in the mayor's office until he um, left to become a judge, took a judgeship. Everybody in the mayor's office leaves at that time. Um, and I went to work for um, the Swain School of Design um, in the administrative office there. I worked for the um, Dean of Academic Affairs, and that was an exciting time there, but it was also a big time of change there where um, that school was being absorbed into the UMass uh, Dartmouth system. Um, and at that point, I didn't know if I was going to go along with that. I worked for the Economic Development Corporation for the city of New Bedford. I, I did the Economic Development Corporation job. They had me doing study, c coming in as a secretary, and then I was um, kind of promoted, if you want to think of it that way, into being the trade show manager, is that I was the person in the office for a couple of years doing just the... Uh, the office end of trade shows, which they would go out and do these international commercial fishery shows. They had salesmen that would travel, you know, across the country to promote um, our fishing port. And I was doing the, the secretarial side of it. And then when this particular gentleman left, moved on to another job, my boss said, well, you know more about that show than anybody else in the office right now. Why don't you take it over? And so I said, okay, I would do that. And I started traveling and doing sales. And I kind of was no longer a secretary or an administrative assistant, I was a manager. So when I go back to when I actually got the job at the Chamber of Commerce, they were looking for administrative support and marketing a trade show support. So I kind of got into that role again and I started doing um, more of the trade show than the administrative support end of it. And I don't know that just built to the things that we did at the Chamber over the years, um, the home shows, the business expos, you know, all these little tabletop expos, all that kind of thing. Um, so somewhere in the mix of all that was a time <laughs> that I got married and had my family and um, because of having children I really didn't want to do the traveling part of it anymore 
the chamber job was a stay at home kind of doing all local kind of events, which I um, preferred. And um, I actually did that for 20 years. So um, it was a pretty much a long career at the Chamber of Commerce. I really truly am a community person. That's how I found myself. Um, kind of where I fit in best was that I'd like to be out there in the community. So I want to work in the nonprofit sector, I want to be out there in the community. Um, just helping people, helping organizations, and I really kn have found my way around. I mean, I really feel good about that. So there was this one point a few years ago where I kind of stepped away from that, from the Chamber of Commerce, because my husband and I actually opened up our own small business, and it was kind of a, a, like a, a passion of his to open a small business focusing on golf, because he's a big golf pro, he's a teaching pro, he's a lifetime golf player, but he has a regular day job too. So I said, well, if we're going to do this, I'm going to step into it full, and I'm going to use all my skills and, you know, opening a business, uh, managing it, doing the bookkeeping, the accounting, the payroll, the employees, the training, and run it. So we opened Oceans 18 into a Blacklight Mini Golf um, in the north end of New Bedford about three years ago now. And it was kind of fun doing that for a while, but I also found that I missed my community involvement in doing the kinds of things that I had been doing for so long. And I started getting back into um, doing some consulting work. I started doing some consulting work, doing trade show management for the chamber. They had me back. South Coast Media did their Go Healthy Expo. Um, I ran Summerfest for the city last year, which is the Great New Bedford Summerfest, a big event. I had run it basically under contract for the city last year and for the chamber the year before. Things like that were going on, which was good. It was getting me back involved in this community and events. And then lo and behold, there was an opportunity. There was a job available at downtown New Bedford, Inc. And I talked to the powers that be here and um, thought, wow, this would be an absolutely great fit for me. Really get me back involved in the community in a big way, in a nice leadership position um, at a time when there's so much going on in downtown. Just in October this past year, I took the position as executive director of downtown New Bedford, Inc. And um, it's been smooth sailing since. <laughs> I know even my mindset at the time was, well, I need to go on, I need to go on to another four-year college in order to finish. And I didn't do that. And sometimes I thought, well, maybe that's lacking. I didn't do that. But I just, things, life got busy um, and things started happening. And I felt like, boy, if I hadn't done the, if I had not done BCC, what, how differently things would have turned out or how differently things would have been. When I think of BCC, I think, yep, thank God I did that. You know, it really, it really made a difference in my life.